Alrighty, uh, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be reacting to the Shadowlands Afterlives Art and Wield cinematic. So uh, I hope that I fixed my sound issues. I know that on my last video and any other reaction video, you definitely like can't hear me uh, if I'm talking while like the cinematic is playing. So I hope that I fixed it this time. I tried moving my microphone a little bit closer too. So I hope that it's a little bit better today. Uh, if not, I'm sorry, but yeah, this one is 6 minutes and 20 seconds long, and I'm very, very excited to react to it, and I'm just gonna get right into it. I'm hoping to see a bit of the Winter Queen and just just some more stuff with uh, Ardenweald, because uh, I think it will be interesting with it being kind of tied in with, like, Ysera and everything, and I wonder if she'll be in this. I honestly have no idea. Uh, that would be exciting, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start this, and I hope that you guys enjoy. some like druid stuff going on here like Ori and the Blind Forest. I don't know if you guys have played that, but that's what that looks like to me. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Oh, oh I'm so excited. I think that that's where, like, their soul goes, and then they, like, regrow, uh, as far as I know. They kind of rebirth them. I shall protect these souls through their winter. Oh. I shall see them reborn in their spring. No matter what trial I wow. face. Wow. I swear it, my queen. Oh, this is so wholesome. <laughs> I feel like it seems very wholesome, but I have some issues, I think, with the Winter Queen from just videos and stuff that I've seen. Season after season of this drought. Here. Here. It's so little. I know. Everything's dying. <laughs> you claim everything from this grove. Everything. Oh my god, they're like stealing the soul. This is my grove. Oh my god. You will not destroy this. Erolon. We are not your enemy. Anyone who threatens my grove is my enemy. I swore an oath. But my queen... Oh. I kept faith. All this time that you would save oh, us. Oh my... And now you send... God. Scavengers to my grove? See, she's bad. Why? Oh my god. Why? You 
saw what is to come. Arunia is dying. Oh my god. It must be saved. The queen has called the wild to hunt. We have culled your grove so that others might live. Will you sacrifice one soul for the forest entire? It's like the last soul. Or will you keep your oath? Damn. Your heart is pure. I will honor your choice. I feel like I'm gonna cry. What the hell? I'm so emotional. Uh... One last time, you serve the wilds. You will not be forgotten. Forgive me. I will hunt for you, my queen. For Ardenweald. And for the souls we can yet save. I swear it. I swear it. Oh my god. That was... I'm gonna pause- no, I wanna pause it right right there that was so good uh i okay so i didn't react to the bastion one just because i was like too late to do it um but i really loved that one uh and i found the maldraxxus one just very kind of like not that good like not as like exciting as the bastion one but this one like really i really really liked it like i felt like a bunch of emotions going through it and Ardenweald is just, like, I'm super drawn to it because it's so beautiful. Um, I'm gonna be a Venthyr in the Shadowlands, but I'm still very excited just for, like, the experience of Ardenweald because I love, like, druid stuff. Like, I love, um, like, my first character I ever made on WoW Classic was a Night Elf Druid, and I just love, like, the shape-shifting stuff and all the nature and, like, fairy dragons. Like, Oh my god. So just like for the aesthetic, I'm very, very excited for Ardenweald and now having this afterlife cinematic, like I'm even more like so stoked to level in that zone. Uh, with Maldraxxus though, I just kind of found it was just kind of like, like yeah, it was a cool cinematic and there was a lot of like action and stuff, but I wasn't like, oh my god, I can't wait to go to Maldraxxus. Like I'm just kind of like, cool, like that's a zone I'll go to. But this one I was like, oh my god, like, I, I can't wait, and I can't wait to see, like, how the quests are and everything with, like, because it looks like basically a soul will be put into, like, a pod kind of thing, and then, like, we would have to, like, nurture it uh, to, like, being reborn again or something. I just feel like that's very interesting, and I really am interested to see what's going on with the Winter Queen because, like, I feel like she's kind of on the surface portrayed to be, like, this, like, really amazing, like, goddess of like nature and like you'd think she'd be like all good kind of like a vassal of life kind of deal like kind of like how we see a and r where it's like oh like life like it's good but then really it's like but is it good like is she good um so i feel like there is definitely some questionable stuff going on with the winter queen that like especially like how she's portrayed like when they come when these guys come in and like it all kind of switches from like all tranquil and like nice to like battle mode and then she shows up and it's all like wait a second like you're like with these guys like it's just like clearly there's something going on with her uh I don't really know like what it is because like I don't haven't watched too many videos like I watch a lot of speculation stuff and I watch a lot of Aqualon stuff but like I don't really know the lore behind like all of the uh, different covenants and stuff. I just kind of know of them. It's like, okay, yeah, there's like the Venthyr and there's like the Maldraxxus stuff and all. Like, I know like all the four different zones, but I don't know like 
in terms of questing and in terms of like what we actually do. I don't know what's going on, so I'm just very interested to know if that makes sense. So yeah, this was really, really, really good. And I legit felt like crying at the part where like he had to choose whether he would like honor his oath or kind of do what's right for like the rest of the forest. I don't know why. I have random situations where like out of nowhere, I'm just like immediately triggered to start crying and I felt it there. So yeah, this one was really, really good. I really liked it. Um, and I'm super, super excited to react to next week's video uh, for the Venthyr. Oh my god, because that is definitely going to be my covenant of choice uh, as a goth lover of like that aesthetic and vampires and like just the architecture that's going to be there. Like, god, I am so excited to react to that. And I like low key hope, even though they didn't announce that there's going to be like a Ma after live cinematic i hope that there is like maybe a secret one with sylvanas and the jailer in it because that would be a dream to react to so anyways i hope that you guys enjoyed my reaction and that all my stuff that i just talked about like made sense i'm very bad at like conveying my bots and stuff i'm very rambly but i hope that you guys enjoyed it and i will see you again next week bye guys